being recorded. Okay, so welcome back. Okay, so today we will continue with the, the third subtopic, 1.3, electric potential. Okay, so electric potential in, uh, we can call it as uh, keupayaan electric. Okay, keupayaan. Okay, so electric potential is defined as the work done in bringing a positive discharge from infinity to the point in the electric field per unit discharge. Meaning that we are doing work, okay, work is W, okay, per unit discharge. Okay, so we define as a work done in bringing a positive discharge from infinity to the point in the electric field per unit discharge. Okay, so we define as V equals to work done over discharge. Okay, so remember your electric potential is a scalar quantity, meaning that every time when you want to uh, write the equation, negative, positive, you must include. Okay, you must include because negative, positive here, uh, meaning that it is uh, represent increasing or reducing. So you must consider the sign convention. Okay, so scalar quantity meaning that we only consider the magnitude. Okay, so every time when you want to substitute Q, positive or negative, you must substitute into the equation. Okay, so the unit is volt, or we can write as joule per coulomb. Uh, joule because it's energy, it's a work done. Q is a charge, so it's per coulomb. Okay, so we continue. Okay, so before we go to electric field, we must know, okay, we must learn first what is equal potential line. Okay, equal potential line and the surface is defined as a surface where all points on the surface that have the same electric potential. Okay, so meaning that if you are referring to uh, the first example, okay, first example is a point charge, okay, meaning that there is a positive charge here, okay, and the electric field is acting outward. Okay, so if we compare, we have a uh, point A, point B, and point C. Okay, which point do you think they are equal potential? Okay, uh, yes, uh, if it refers to the radius, we, uh, we find out that actually point A and point B are in the same radius. Okay, in the same radius. Okay, meaning that VA is equal to VB because they are in the same radius. But if you compare with C, C is uh, further away. Okay, but they are not equal to VC. Okay, so this is case point charge. Okay, case two. Case two is a parallel plate. Okay, it's in a parallel plate. Okay, if let's say... Um, your electric field is from left to right. Okay, meaning that this plate here is a positive plate. Okay, and this plate is actually a negative plate uh, because electric field is into the electric uh it is into the negative plate. Okay, so it's from left to right. Uh, po positive plate is on your left. Okay, where the electric field is come out from the positive plate and into the negative plate. Okay, so if you refer point A, point B, and point C. Okay, so from plate positive, we find out that actually the radius, the distance from the plate A, uh, from the plate positive, A and also B are in the same, same distance uh, from plate A, uh, from the plate positive. Okay, so we also can conclude that potential at A is equal to potential at B, but not equal to C. Okay. Okay, so we continue. Okay, the dash line represents the equal potential line. Okay, uh, so if we refer just now, uh, okay, A and B are in the same line. A and B are in the same line. So the dashed line represents the equal, equal, equal potential, equal, equal potential surface. So the equal potential surface line always perpendicular to the electric field line. Okay, always perpendicular. If you refer here, 
Actually, it is tangent. Uh, tangent is always 90 degree. Okay, if let's say we are referring to this point, it's actually 90 degree. Okay, 90 degree to the electric field. So the electric field point in the directions of decreasing electric potential. Okay, meaning that your VAB is greater than your VC because uh, as the distance, okay, as the distance uh, further apart, the electric potential will become, will, will decrease, okay? So we can make conclusions that VA equals to VB and both of them are greater than VC eh, because VC is further apart, okay? So then the work done is to bring a test charge from point B to A is given by, if you bring a charge from B to A, okay, B to A, we will assume that uh, V to A, our work done, from B you bring to A, meaning that our equation we can write as V final minus V initial, always remember, okay? So V final because it's B to A, so we take V A minus V B because final minus initial. Okay, however, because VA is equal to VB, okay, because VA is equal to VB, that's why there's no work done, okay, there's no work done to bring a test charge from A to B, okay, we don't need to do any work, okay, because they are equal potential. So that's why we say there's no work is done to move a charge along the equal potential surface, okay, because both of them are equal potential. Okay, so continue. Okay, since the work done equations, uh, this is the formula KQQ over R. Okay, then the equation of the equations of the electric potential can be written as like if you cancel off the test charge, our V will equal to KQ over R. Okay, where Q here is a, a point charge. Okay, it's the point charge that gives the inference. Okay, so this is the point charge and this is the uh, distance from the point charge. Okay, so this is the distance from the point charge. Okay, the point charge that, that gives the inference on the surrounding. Okay, so this is the equation for a point charge. V equals to KQ over R. Okay, next. B, okay, electric potential is a scalar quantity, meaning that the resultant electric field is equal to the algebraic sum of the individual potential. So we just total up only, okay? V1 plus V2 plus V3 depends on how many point charge that we have. The electric potential of the charge at infinity is zero uh, because, okay, if let's say, uh, if you're referring, okay, of course, the first one, your V1 is greater. This is your V2. This is your V3. Okay, when you further apart until V equals to infinity, of course, it's equals to zero huh? because your V is reducing. Okay, it's reducing. So since charge Q can be positive or negative, the electric potential can also be positive or negative. It depends on your point charge. If your point charge is positive, so your V is positive. If your point charge is negative, your V is uh, negative eh? because we substitute all the value including the sign. In the calculations of V, the sign of the charge must be substituted. Okay, so this one you must highlight. Okay, you must substitute into the equation. If let's say the point charge is positive, you substitute positive. If the point charge is negative, you substitute negative. Okay, so this is a must. Okay, so we try one question, example number seven. So we have two point charge, Q1 and also Q2, are separated by the distance of six meter. Okay, calculate the electric potential at point A. So V equations generally is KQ over R. So every time when you see only one Q, meaning that there must be a one point charge and also with a point. Okay, with a point. Okay, so here the point that we want to find is point A. So point A is our superstar. Okay, so this point A is influenced by 
Q1 and also influenced by Q2. So we just total up. At point A is because we have two point charge, so we have two V. V1 plus V2. So you substitute inside. K, Q1 is positive 0 0.3 coulomb. The distance. Distance is uh, 3 meter from, uh, okay, so this is 3 meter, 3 meter. Okay, so it's 3 meter. We don't need to square, okay, so it's KQ over R only. Okay, plus K V2 is negative. So it's negative, you just put in negative as well over 3. Okay, so K. Is 9 times 10 to the power of 9. Okay. So make, maybe you can factorize out. Okay. You can factorize out 9 times 10 to the power of 9. And then 3 and 3 we can factorize out. So we only have 0 0.3 minus 0 0.4. So the answer is negative 3 times 10 to the power of 8 volt. Okay. So negative here meaning that it's reducing. Okay, it's decreasing. Example number eight. Okay, so for this one, we don't need to draw the directions. Huh? We don't need to draw like F and E. Huh? We don't need to find the direction. We just add on how many charges. Okay. So the next question is two point charges Q1 and Q2 are separated by the distance of 8 cm as shown. Determine the electric potential at point P uh, 6 cm from the charge Q2. Okay, so meaning that we want to find at this point. Okay, at this point, how many point charge that give inference on this point? Okay. Uh, so we can write VP is influenced by how many point, point charge? We have Q1 and Q2. So we write V1 plus V2. So we write K. Q1 is positive 12. Nano. Nano is power of negative 9. The distance is... Uh, so we need to find out uh, what is the distance. 6, 10... Here is 10 cm, so it's 0 0.1. K plus K, Q2 is negative. So it's negative 12 nano. And the distance is between them is 6 cm, so it's 0 0.06. Okay, so after that, maybe you can factorize out 10, 9 times 10 to the power of 9. 12 times negative 9 over 0 0.1 minus 12 0 0.06 minus because of this is a negative charge okay so you will get negative 720 volt okay so if you still calculating you may pause the video and do the calculation Okay, you can do the calculation first. You can pause the video. Okay, next. I will proceed to the potential difference. Huh? Potential difference. So, potential difference meaning that we want to find perbezaan. Okay, perbezaan. Between the first V, the first point, uh, and the second potential. Okay, so there will be a two electric potential. So we want to find the difference, uh, probably and the antara dual uh, electric opayan electric. Okay, so the electric potential difference between two points, uh, there must be two points. Okay, is defined as the work done in bringing a positive charge from a point to another point. Okay, so from point A to point B or from point A to point C. Okay, so the potential difference between point A and point B is given. If let's say we write V A B, we will take V A minus V B. Okay. Or we can write as work done B 
A, meaning that work done BA is you bring B to A. Eh? You bring B to A. So when you bring B to A, your work done is V final minus V initial. So you can write as final is A minus B. Okay? So if you expand it, you will get Q, V A minus Q. Q here is the test charge. Okay, test charge, not point charge, huh? it's test charge. So we want to see if, let's say, we put this point char uh, test charge into the uh, the electric field, what happened? Okay, so test charge is Q. Huh? Okay, so we can write as QV actually is the electric, uh, electric potential energy. Okay, we can write in this form. And this one later you will learn. Huh? Okay, if the... Positive test charge moving from A to B, thus the potential difference between these two points is given by okay, V. Uh, we write as the positive test charge moving from A to B. Okay, A to B. So we can write, if let's say we write uh, A to B, eh? you bring A to B. So we want to write final minus initial. Okay, you write final minus initial. So you will equals to work done A to B over the test charge. Okay, over the test charge. So your final here is B and your initial here is A. Okay, so we can write in this form. Okay, so when we write VB minus VA, we write VBA. Okay, but when we write work done AB, meaning that A you bring to B. Okay, so this is the difference. Huh? We write VBA meaning that B minus A. But for work done is A to B. You bring A to B, meaning that you must take V final minus V initial. Uh, remember, you must take final minus initial. Okay? So our final is equals to B. Yeah? So your VB minus VA. So remember, it's final minus initial. Okay? So we continue with the example. Okay, you may pause the video to uh, write the equations. Okay, example number nine. Okay, two point charges. So we have two point charges Q1 and also Q2. And we have point A and also point B. Okay, so first, the question asks us to find the electric potential at point A. So point A is our superstar. Okay, point A is our superstar. So at point A, how many point charge that give influence on point A? So we have only two point, two, uh, point charge. So it's V1 plus V2 because there's a two point charge, okay, that will give influence on point A. So we write as K, Q1, Q1 is positive 2.4 nano. And the distance is 0 0.05 plus another point charge is uh, negative. So we substitute the sign as well, negative 6.5 nano. And the distance is also 0 0.05. Okay, 0 0.05. So you press calculator, you will get negative 738 volt. This is the electric potential at point A. Okay. Okay, next we have point B. So now we want to find on point B how many point how many point charge that will give influence on point B. Okay, so for question number two, we want to find point B. Okay, so for point B, we also have two point charge, point charge one, point charge two. Okay, so we write as K Q one, Q one is positive two point four, power of negative nine, and the distance is eight zero point zero eight. Okay, zero point zero eight. Plus point charge number two is k negative six point five times ten to the power of negative nine, and the distance is zero point 
zero six. Okay, so you will get negative zero point uh, seven zero five volt. Uh, if you when you press calculator. Okay, so meaning that this is the electric potential on point A and also on point B. Okay, so we find separately. Okay, next questions. If you want to find the work done, okay, so now you want to find the work done on uh, by the electric field on the test charge. If uh, highlight this one, this is a test charge, okay. Just now, Q1, Q2 is point charge that will give inference. So now, if we put a test charge, uh, we put a test charge, we test only. What happened? Okay, if let's say we put a test charge at that point and we want to bring to another point, what happened? Okay, what is the work that we need to do? Okay, so this is the work done. Travel from point B to A. So you must write from B, you bring to A. Uh, from point B, you bring to A. Okay, so it's equal to test charge. And then, V final minus V initial. Remember, always final minus initial. So your test charge is uh, 2.5 nano. This is the test charge that you put. Okay, V final, because it's B to A, so it's VA. Uh. Okay, so it's VA minus your VB. Okay, so you substitute inside 2.5 power of negative 9. Your VA is negative 738 minus... VB is negative 705, so you will get negative 8.25 times 10 to the power of negative 8 joule. So this is the work done when you uh, put a test charge 2.5 nanocoulomb into, uh, you bring from B to A. Okay, so that's all for today. Okay, so your homework is, homework for today is example, Example 10. Okay, example 10. So this is your homework. And after finish, you must uh, send into our Google, Google Classroom. Okay, thank you.